In that video, we are going to see how Base Zeus, aka Benjamin Seda, misled more than 1 million men by giving them mediocre dating advice, completely failed to keep growing his YouTube channel, stole my content and is using it to try to save his dying channel. It's extremely hard for them to just be normal. Having the courage and calmness to just be normal. They aren't truly themselves. Nobody is being their true self. You are not a stand-up comedian. You are not a dancing monkey. It's fine to ask her a simple question and let her talk. Keep making small talk, ask her questions about herself. Staying in the interaction after getting the number or the Instagram makes it more natural. You will look more genuine and less results oriented. So you notice as I'm getting her Instagram, I'm just having a little bit of small talk back and forth. So there's not this awkward silence like, give me your number and then I'm going to run away. In the second part of the video, I will break down exactly how inaccurate and terrible the advice of Benjamin Seda are when it comes to cold approach. Are you reading uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? You good? And what you should do instead. Throughout the video, I will also reveal the pictures of the girls Benjamin Seda is getting taking from an Instagram profile that was run by the members of his team, now deleted. That way, you will understand what kind of results his botched advice leads to. Better known as Base Zeus, Benjamin Seda started to grow his channel seven years ago. He was hiding behind some scammy, bandwagon animated cartoons and managed to grow a decent following, talking about any masculinity topics that could generate views, which provided no real substance. It was all just watered down content. If you look at the history of his content, it is never original. Everything is always based on some video someone made three months ago, which he watched, recreated using his own words and posted to YouTube, hoping nobody will notice. This is why his videos are so contradictory. Benjamin quickly became some kind of carpet merchant, doing cheesy ads. This video is sponsored by the badasses over at Anson Belt with their 14,000 five-star ratings. Selling all sorts of course on how to get girls through Instagram and Tinder. If you follow me already, you know that all those methods completely suck compared to cold approach. That's the reason why I'm only teaching men how to do daytime approaches, because I know that all the other methods are inferior. Before joining my program, Benjamin actually did content on cold approach and tried to sell course about cold approach as well. But because he is an amateur in the field. As we will see during the cold approach masterclass I am about to give you, he quickly gave up on selling that course to fall back on showing men how to get meet girls through Instagram. Benjamin didn't care too much about how efficient his teachings were. He never had any clue about which method was the best. All he cared about was selling his subscribers anything he could, regardless of their aspirations, to make them believe that they could end up having legit results. Over the years, Benjamin was more and more brainwashed. He ended up persuaded that you should be like Andrew Tate, have status, be a fighter, have an influencer effect, and have a perfect Instagram grid in order to be able to attract top tier girls into your life. He was living in his own world. Benjamin truly believed that he actually was helping those men by coaching them to get mid girlfriends instead of inspiring them to raise their standards and drop the dating apps and Instagram. And it's actually actually not his fault. He could not even do it by himself. He never attracted any stunning girls into his life. I'm going to take advice from some dude online who only talks about dating but never shows any proof. That's some fucking bullshit. Standards are built, and if he never got any hot girls by himself, then he is simply not fit to show the way to others. Benjamin took things the wrong way. Instead of becoming a master at dating and then teaching, Benjamin was teaching and selling programs while figuring stuff out on the way by stealing content from other channels. All the advice he gave over the years 
years were based on his below average results. This is exactly what happened when you are trying to make money online being a coach without cracking the code first. Since the truth always prevails, his little illusions started to have less and less impact. Seda went from doing 6 fig views per video to a low 5 fig views. While having 1 million subs, his channel was dying and jumping on bandwagons, making clickbait videos about trendy subjects didn't work as good anymore. Bezdus had to reinvent himself. In September 2022, while his views per video kept decreasing, Zeus was hopelessly scrolling through Twitter. He then stumbled upon me, and that was a glow of hope for him. Seda got completely hooked by my content. He couldn't believe someone else had actually pushed cold approach that far and fully cracked the code. He was completely blown away by the quality of receipts I was posting online. After reading my tweets for a while, liking them and even interacting with them, he applied to join my close friends and get access to the precious knowledge I am sharing there. Back then, I didn't have a cold approach course yet, nor a close friends group, but I was already sharing the secret sauce in my close friends story. For three months, I saw him watching my stories without interacting at all. I then decided to remove Benjamin from my close friends. He complained straight away to a member of my team. To him, that was the end of an endless source of inspiration. Little did I know what he was planning to do using those three months of content. Back in 2019, Benjamin Seda made some videos about Cold Approach to sell yet another program, the God Approach. It didn't work as expected because he wasn't called approaching the right way, as we will see later in the video. So he quickly gave up and launched another course about Instagram game. And he never spoke about Cold Approach again until he found out about me. As soon as September, within the first week of finding out about me, Bezu started to talk again about Cold Approach in his animated videos. He then kept making his cringe clickbait videos for normies. But the more time went on, the more he talked about Cold Approach, that it was the only way to get top tier girls. Literally paraphrasing what I was saying back then and what I'm still saying today. Talking about very specific principles of my Cold Approach philosophy. Like just doing small talk during the approach. It's fine to ask her a simple question and let her talk. Keep making small talk, ask her questions about herself. Not being witty and funny, such witty and lengthy opener proves my point. He cares way too much. Those guys are too nervous and in their head that they end up trying to overcompensate by trying to be too witty. Just being normal and so on. It's extremely hard hard for them to just be normal. Having the courage and calmness to just be normal. All of that while still selling a course on Instagram game. He made literally no sense. The more he talked about cold approach, the more he started to create a new false narrative around himself. Inventing a life for himself that he didn't live, saying that he always cold approached. When I was 14, I wanted to date more girls. You could say I was a little obsessed. Puberty hormones hit me hard. So me and my friends would go to the mall every weekend and approach random girls we'd see. This is complete fiction. Those are tales from the slums of Mumbai. In 2020, he literally stated, Instagram is directly responsible for over 90% of my dates in the past three years, and it's probably the best dating app out there now. Which doesn't fit with the cold approach narrative. The first video of his channel was a video about cold approach seven years ago. The video itself is just water is wet content without any substance. All right, Benjamin, we get it. You spoke about Cold Approach seven years ago, but back then you had absolutely no idea how to do it properly. Neither did I. So it doesn't make you legit at all. It's not a brag. You created more harm than good with that video. If Benjamin was actually honest and truly spent seven years Cold Approaching and cracked the code, he would have plenty of legit receipts to share. And trust me, he would have completely dropped the Instagram and 
dating apps game. But no, Benjamin had to wait for six years to find me and understand that cold approach was the only way. And shamelessly start stealing my philosophy. But wait, the worst is yet to come. After that video where he is lying about his background, saying that he always cold approached the right way, Benjamin completely rebranded his YouTube channel around my cold approach philosophy. To highlight my point, I want you to ask yourself a question. When was the last time you actually went out and approached a girl in person? He kept preaching the principles he learned in my close friends while acting like he figured out everything by himself. Benjamin couldn't hide his aspiration to become like me anymore. He created his own cold approach program based on a small part of my teachings with Ben Bader as growth partner. Ben Bader knew that Benjamin Seda's new persona was a cheap doppelganger of me. Literally Ben Frame from AliExpress. But he chose to close his eyes on it, completely blinded by his aspiration for profit. Not only Benjamin Seda tried to save his dead YouTube channel by stealing my close friend's content, but he completely sucks at cold approach as we are going to see it right now. Now it's time for you to learn how to cold approach the right way. Not with a fraud like Benjamin Seda, but with a real expert. For those who don't know me, I am Bain, and I spent the last six years in Eastern Europe, cold approaching the highest quality of girls, texting them, having them on dates, and ultimately building wholesome relationships with them. I am not using Tinder, I am not using Instagram, I am exclusively cold approaching, and I am the best in the world in that field. You will find nobody else but me, posting that quality of receipt at scale, and certainly not Benjamin Seda. My standards are therefore insanely high, and because standards are built, and most of you don't have any legit reference experience yet, you should only apply my advice on girls you think out of your league. Also, do not use my advice if you want to engage in casual sex. This only applies to meeting good girls that you are willing to keep around. As as long as the dynamic of the relationship is healthy. Now I am going to review how base Zeus completely sucks at cold approach. I will start to show you how bad his approaches were when he started to sell a course in 2019 before joining my close friends. Hey, what's up? I'm sorry? You looked intriguing. I wanted to come meet you. Hi. I'm Benjamin. Hi. Is it close by? I might need to grab a Gatorade. Do you want to walk together? Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Rand walking together with random yeah. strangers. I hope you don't roofie me. Let's start with the opener. Excuse me. Excuse me is probably the worst way to open a girl. You literally start by being sorry of talking to her. I get it. This is a common phrase that you use everywhere, but it's all about the intent. The first thing you want to do is to get her attention normally with any of the local words you would use to get the attention of someone. Like, hello, hi, salut, privet. It really depends where you are at. Then he is telling her. You looked intriguing, I wanted to come meet you. Here you have the typical pickup artist who wants to hide his intentions behind some weird words like intriguing. Instead of doing this, just be direct. Make her understand that you are interested. If you are confident, if you are wearing the right drips, then the perceived value will be enough for you to start the conversation with the most bland compliment. You don't have to be original or witty to convey your intentions. It comes from a very insecure place to not be able to communicate your emotions directly. He then proceeds to introducing himself and shaking her hands. Benjamin absolutely loves shaking hands still today, which is a beginner mistake. You need to understand something. You are not meeting a new business partner. You are not meeting one of your friends. Simply do not touch her during the approach. Think long term. You will have plenty of opportunities to touch her when you are bringing her on a date. If you want to flirt with the top tier girls during the approach, the best way to proceed is to have boundaries straight from the approach. If you start being touchy, it's actually quite needy if you think about it. It's like you want something to happen. You want to create something. 
But you should not expect anything. If she goes for a handshake, you should almost be hesitant. You should subcommunicate that this doesn't feel right. Benjamin mumbles and proposes they walk the same way. I might need to grab a Gatorade. Do you want to walk together? Yeah. Let's do it. You can feel he is extremely nervous. So nervous that he is literally looking for validation. We're walking together with random yeah. strangers. He is making the girl aware of the situation. Aware that they are both strangers linking with each other. This is the worst mistake you can possibly do during an approach. You want the approach to be a magic, captivating moment. If you enjoy a good movie with a girl, are you going to talk about the fact that you are watching a movie? Of course not. You are going to share emotions with her while watching. This is the same with the approach. You don't want to make the girl aware of the weirdness of the situation. And you think that it couldn't get worse than all of that. But he adds, I hope you don't roofie me. Which literally means, I hope you don't drug me and me. It is Jester maxing to his finest. He doesn't even know her. He should just focus on getting to know her. Overall, you can see how fake and nervous he is. He is expecting way too much from the interaction. The amount of mistakes he is doing in a 20 seconds interaction is insane. Back then, in 2019, that guy shouldn't have been teaching others. Excuse me, are you reading uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? I am not. No. What, what are you reading? Benjamin, nice to meet you. What is intimacy and solitude about? Are you in need of some intimacy and solitude? So are we about to have a deep talk? Is it sexist to say that, of course, a woman wrote about intimacy and solitude? So what are you learning? Teach, teach me. Do you read a lot of self-help stuff? What do you usually read? Classic romance novels. All right, well. No, but like, oh, no, 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 okay, that's enough for, that's the last, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, Hemingway. One of the last girls I talked to is super into Hemingway. Yeah. Didn't work out so well. Oh. Which is why I'm here now talking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like your jewelry though. It kind of like you. silver vibes like mine. I think I'm wearing more rings than you though. Yeah. I think I, I beat you in that in that regard. Are you familiar with stoicism? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or do you just go to like slam poetry and no, like sip really like Colombian too. like imported coffee just, that's like. like <laughs> so you're just like crossing off like all the wrong boxes. <laughs> you should allow me to show you the nicer parts of going out in New York City. Okay. Cool. So you don't have to put your name, I'm just gonna delete it after. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Enjoy your intimacy yeah. and solitude. Thanks. Again, extremely witty opener. Are you reading uh, Fifty Shades of Grey? Just open her in a normal way. After opening her, he asks her a very specific question about the book she is reading right now. Is intimacy and solitude about, uh, I, I imagine it's about intimacy, intimacy and, so and solitude. Why would you even care about this? Be aligned with your intentions. You are interested by her because she is hot. So you should talk about her. You should ask some questions. Do not enter in specifics like that. You don't know her at all. So you should take things in the right order. It should be a build up. Doing some vague small talk in a relaxed way is completely fine when you are a man of value who knows his worth. She will feel it and what you will talk about won't matter much. It's all about maintaining that healthy dynamic of you asking some question and her answering and asking a question back. That's simple. He keeps diving deep into details about the book. He ends up having a deep talk with the girl right during the approach. Are we about to have a deep talk? When you get to know someone, you want to keep it playful and simple. If you have a deep talk with a girl you know nothing about, as soon as you end the interaction, she will feel like something wasn't right. And even if it worked, even if she was down to have that conversation, things went too fast between you and her. And her way of rationalizing it will either be to ghost you or block you. He starts talking about sexism, asking questions about self-help. Is it sexist to say that, of course, a woman wrote about intimacy and solitude? Do you read a lot of self-help stuff? Are you familiar with stoicism? Why would you talk about stoicism during an approach? Please keep all those topics aside. For once in your life, just have a normal conversation with someone. 
without talking about red pill stuff or anything. If you want to talk about such topics, just hang out with the boys. He then ask her. So what are you learning? Teach, teach me. That's a very weak place to come from. You shouldn't ask the girl to teach you anything. After that, Benjamin manages to do a hesitant nagging. What do you usually read? Classic romance novels. <laughs> All right. Well. No, but like. Well, no, 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 no. Okay. That's enough. For, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes, you know that nagging thing that should be done in complete confidence. But actually, think about it. Is there a need to nag the girl during the approach? Not at all. Just like touching her, nagging during the approach is try hard. Again, just be normal. Do not try to manipulate the girl or anything. That is how you are going to spark genuine interest from the girl. Just look how feminine this guy was. As if a neg wasn't enough, he manages to neg her another time about Hemingway. Yeah, Hemingway. One of the last girls I talked to is super into Hemingway. Yeah. Didn't work out so well. Oh. Which is why I'm here now talking. <laughs> <laughs> Literally bringing up a past relationship. This is the worst thing to do. Do not talk about your past relationships to a girl you just met. Especially not to justify the fact that you are here. He then proceeds to compare his jewelry with the girl. <laughs> I, I like your jewelry though. It kind of like you. silver vibes like mine. I think I'm wearing more rings than you though. Yeah. I think I, I beat you in that, in that regard. What the actual do not compare anything with a girl. He is making it like it's some sort of competition of how many rings you should have. If you want to build connections, this is counterintuitive. It adds absolutely nothing. Zero. And then a third neg happen. Bro is distributing negs like little breads. So you're just like crossing off like all the wrong boxes. <laughs> and here it tells me an important thing. The girl is mid. How do I know that? Well, there is no way that he will actually end up with a top tier girl doing that shit. It's, it's impossible. Any mid girl will be reactive to his game out of pity and options, but this absolutely won't work with top tier girls. That's my main problem with those people who have a large audience and who are posting dating advice without backing up their claims with received. You don't know to which quality of girls those advice stand for. And you can almost be sure that all the advice you find online won't apply to you if you want to go for the highest quality of girls. He is then trying to guess what kind of girls she is. I or mean, do you just go to like slam poetry and no, like sip really like Colombian too. like imported coffee yeah, that's like This is a recurring layer that I'm helping more and more clients to remove. Men usually do that because they want to build rapport and it comes off as needy. It's totally fine to ask simple questions and let her talk. The way he is laughing non-stop during the interaction is a sign of nervousness. <laughs> <laughs> There should be a balance between smiling and being more serious. He does another dumb mistake. He starts talking about a potential date. This is the biggest misconception. When you cold approach a girl, you should never talk about a potential date. It's actually needy if you think about it. You know nothing about her and you start talking about a potential meeting. It sub communicates that it is not challenging at all to build relationships with you. That you are not picky at all. Think about it. Would a chat make himself free so easily? You are supposed to be busy. The best way is just to take her Instagram and tell her that you will text her later. That way, you can create a proper build-up during the texting phase and go for a healthy date setup. Keep in mind that I spared you of all his comments during the approach where he is telling you that all the mistakes he is doing are actually good for you. That review was quite painful but necessary to shed the light on how Benjamin had no idea what he was doing in 2019 when he was already pretending that he was a master at cold approach. Cold approach where me and my manager Benjamin teach you how to master attraction with our step-by-step -step blueprint. You might think that now, in 2023, since he started to steal my philosophy on how to cold approach the right way and telling everyone on his YouTube channel that you should just be normal during the approach, not be witty or funny, to be your authentic self. Do you think it was enough for him to figure out all those bad mistakes and that he finally became a master at cold approach? Well, it actually made it worse. Excuse me. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. You good? Yes. Hi. 
<laughs> no, yeah, it seems like it. I now, now I seem like a dick. I wanted to come say hi. I thought you were cute. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if it's a bad time, I can uh, I can fuck off if, if you'd prefer that. No, it's okay. Sorry, I was just talking to my mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm Benjamin, by I'm, the way. I'm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh god, that's actually so funny. <laughs> no, I was like, oh, she's reading or something. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I guess not. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. Just like some like friend and family stuff. I, it's yep. like... Which part of the city is your favorite? Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. I love it. Like, really? It so fun. Yeah, that's it. A... Well, yeah. it was nice to meet you. I'm gonna... <laughs> I hate Brooklyn. <laughs> but um, yeah, you should you should come out sometime. My friend is a DJ. He DJs at a couple of spots uh, around here downtown. You should you should come out with us sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah. Do you have Instagram? <laughs> oh, you were on the phone with her when I came up to you. Yeah. Oh wow! I'm so sorry. Yeah. I hope you feel better. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Bye. All right, so the way it starts, the way he's saying. Excuse me. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. With a little exclamation, you can feel that he is nervous straight away. The girl answers that she's okay, and he is literally screaming at her. You good? It's such a weird way to start a conversation. Just like in 2019, he is then laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> he then go for the compliment, but Benjamin cannot even give a compliment without adding fluff to it. No, yeah, it seems like it. I, now, now I seem like a dick. I wanted to come say hi. I thought you were cute. He starts by saying, now I seem like a dick. Straight away, he is coming from a degrading place. He still has the same problems that he had in 2019, except that now it's worse because it's more subtle and deeply entrenched. To make it even worse, he tells her, If it's a bad time, I can, uh, I can fuck off if, if you'd prefer that. When you approach a girl, you want to own the situation. You don't want to be hesitant like that. It's like Benjamin is enjoying coming from an inferior place. I get it. The girl was crying and he was trying to do good. But him acting so awkward around the girl proves that he is extremely uncalibrated socially. If you approach a girl and realize that she is crying, but still welcoming you, the last thing you want to do is to make it about yourself fucking off or not. You approached her, so you have to own the situation. It's not the ideal approach, of course, but if you want to make the best of it, simply ask her what is going on. Benjamin doesn't even have the social intelligence to do this because he is too self-absorbed. He is just following his little script. She even starts talking about what is going on and he's like, Yeah? Yeah, sorry. I'm Benjamin, by I'm, the way. I'm Who gives a sh it, bro. And then he is just awkwardly and nervously laughing at the situation. <laughs> he is not in control at all. Due to that, he will never be able to create a real connection with someone. This <laughs> keeps laughing. <laughs> she keeps talking about it and he keeps following his little script. They then do small talk for a while, which is what I teach Benjamin when he was in my close friends. And then again, he does the same mistake that in 2019. Which part of the city is your favorite? Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. I love it. Like, really? It so fun. Yeah, that's it. Well, yeah. it was nice to meet you. I'm gonna... <laughs> I hate Brooklyn. Ow. He is nagging her, acting like he's going to leave because she says that she didn't like Brooklyn. Not only nagging is not necessary during the approach, but she was literally just crying five minutes ago. And Benjamin keeps using his little techniques like a robot. He is lacking in emotional intelligence. He is completely uncalibrated. Yeah, like, Benjamin asks her some question and keeps laughing nervously when she answers. He then again does the same mistake. But um, yeah, you should you should come out sometime. My friend is a DJ. He DJs at a couple of spots uh, around here downtown. You should you should come out with us sometime. He starts talking about a potential date, but that time is not even a one-on-one -on -one date. He potentially invites a girl to a party with one of his DJ friends. Not only you should not talk about a potential date during the approach, but you should never invite a girl you have called approached to a party with your friends. 
you know nothing about her. It makes absolutely no sense. This is not how relationships are made from cold approach. You should always go in one-on-one -on -one dates with the girls you met in that divine way. He is then like... I still feel bad that I interrupted your... Uh... Again, it shows his lack of tact. He has no idea on how to handle the emotions of a girl, which is extremely problematic for a dating coach. Also being sorry for interrupting her. Oh, wow, I'm so sorry. Bratan, you should own the fact that you came to her. You should never feel sorry about it. It is the most common beginner mistakes. You are at level zero at cold approach. Even the worst student in my close friends group is doing better than you. And he ends up with... Yeah, I hope you feel better. While laughing at her. <laughs> that guy has no game. All right, let's see more approaches that he made recently. Excuse me. Hi. I thought you were cute. I wanted oh, to come meet you. you. Actually, I thought about it. I thought like that about you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually oh, really about it. Benjamin used that in field, thinking it was cool that the girl showed interest right upon the first seconds of the interaction. But it's actually a huge red flag. Benjamin in his little world thinks that it's because of his game, but she is just used to have interaction with men. She is used to game men. You can hear it in her voice. Actually, I thought about it. I thought like that about you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually really about it. You can feel that she is experienced. Excuse me. Hi. I saw you, I wanted to come meet you guys, how are you? Nice to meet you, we saw you as well. Yeah? <laughs> Bro is standing there, like some NPC street vendor, leaning on the pole, like he's about to give them a side quest. He is then saying, I saw you, I wanted to come meet you guys, how are you? It is said in such a robotic and unnatural way, it feels like he is reading a script. He will tell you that it works because they reacted positively to it, but it doesn't mean anything. It's not because it works that it's the best way. You might make mistakes that will have effect later on and still get a positive reaction. That reaction lures Seda into thinking that he's actually doing the right thing, thinking that he has game. I'm Benjamin. Nice. Where are you headed? Yeah, what are you doing over there? That one is my favorite. It is extremely subtle and it takes only an expert eye to understand how pitiful this approach is. He starts by introducing himself. I'm Benjamin. Nice. Where are you headed? Listen carefully. The girl is actually interrupting him in his speech. I'm Benjamin. Nice. I'm Benjamin. Nice. I'm Benjamin. Nice. That's actually the worst way to start an interaction because, well, she is dominating him. She is setting the tone of the conversation. And when you could approach the girl, you want it to be the other way around. It's due to the fact that he is running his little script like a robot, as usual. So the girl will feel that it's bullshit and will interrupt him. He is reacting to the situation by asking a question straight away, which feel unnatural. Where are you headed? he barely listened to the answer and asked another question straight away. Okay, yeah, what are you doing over there? It feels so fake. He doesn't know how to listen to people anymore because he's way too self-aware. Just look at his overall body language. Does that feel natural to you? It feels that he is trying to contain all his past witness that he tried to suppress by listening to my advice and stealing them to put them on YouTube. It feels like the cringe POA is still inside him and he is about to burst. Here's what to do if you get rejected by a girl. Just move on with your life. Have a laugh. Realize it likely was it personal and that the girl doesn't owe you anything. Be a gentleman. Smile and tell her it was a pleasure to meet her anyways and to enjoy the rest of her day. What Benjamin is suggesting is another beginner mistake. Amateurs like Benjamin take rejection as definitive. They don't understand that she is not rejecting them, she is rejecting the situation. The natural reaction of a good girl when you approach her is often going to be negative. And it's actually a good sign she doesn't let men enter her life easily. 
This is why it is extremely important to be persistent when a girl rejects you. When you are of value, when your life is actually in order, what do you have to lose to insist a bit to show your girl how amazing your life is and that it could actually be a great match? You gotta have that dog in you who makes things happen. I have countless of examples of girls who at first rejected me, where I insisted a tiny bit and ended up having amazing relationship with them. You know, have a good overview on how Benjamin completely sucks at cold approach. Whether it's in 2019 or in 2023, it didn't get any better for him. It actually went worse. How is that even possible? The reason why is that Benjamin accumulated layers. Layers are one of the most important principles of my program. Layers can be defined as unnatural personality traits that you accumulated over the years consuming the wrong content and that are keeping you away from building optimal relationships and optimal friendships. If you are not aware of those layers and you learn a new social skills on top of them, it will make your situation worse. If you want to be normal again, there is no other way but to start removing those layers and remove them until the initial one. Only then you will be able to develop healthy social skills. It is quite complex, but comparing SEDA from 2019 and SEDA today simplifies it. In 2019, SEDA was younger, more innocent, searching for himself. And as we saw, he couldn't be normal during his interactions. His opener were witty. He couldn't have some simple small talk with a girl. He was nervous, was laughing frenetically upon situation he didn't expect. <laughs> he wasn't truly himself. Benjamin never realized that he has those layers keeping him away from having normal interactions. So he kept behaving the same way as he grew older. And today it is worse than before because he has more biases than ever. He grew in confidence. He made more money. He has more business connections. Thank you, Top G, for the content. We appreciate it. Thank you for everything you do, Top G. Even though his channel is dying, he has the illusion that he is doing everything right. He ended up being completely unbearable, always doing witty and try hard stuff, the opposite of being normal. Hi, how are you? I'm not, you gonna, to, I'm not gonna make you stand. You come down here. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I like you better <laughs> down on there on your knees anyways. You need to be that guy. My pronouns are literally that guy. Look at my Instagram. My pronouns, literally that guy. If those aren't your pronouns yet, you got work to do, my friend. And when he found out about my stuff in 2022 and he started to steal my philosophy, what he actually did is making it worse because Seda still had all those layers from 2019 and the other ones that he accumulated until then and he didn't do the proper work with me to remove them. He just added even more layers on top of his personality. He made his case even more complex. And that's the reason why he is so awkward now. Just be normal. Why is it so fucking hard? I'm literally just being normal. It's extremely hard for them to just be normal. Having the courage and calmness to just be normal. Repeating to his viewers on his YouTube to be normal won't make him normal. For him to become his true self and integrate all the principles that he stole from me, he has to start removing layers. That way, after months of work, if not years for him, he will be able to cold approach the right way and to have normal interaction and actually attract the highest quality of girls into his life. That's the proof that you need the right environment to learn how to cold approach the right way. If you just have the theory, you won't be able to crack the code. That's the reason why I created my close friends group. Because there you will have a constant feedback loop with masters who understand the notion of layers. They will tell you exactly when those layers are interfering with your game for you to understand exactly where they are coming from and how to remove them. By joining my close friends alongside the group, you will also get access to my cold approach video course, which lays down how I cold approach the highest quality of girls and actually attract them into my life. For all those years, Benjamin kept misleading his subscribers and not only about cold approach. There's a reason women are attracted to muscles and strength. 
And that reason is because it indicates the genetic fitness and ability to protect provide and fight for resources. Going to a combat gym, sparring, all that stuff is good if you want to attract top tier dudes into your life. It doesn't directly make you more attractive to the girls. It actually can repulse the innocent, stunning girls that you can find only through cold approach. If you want to attract top tier girls into your life, not top tier dudes, you actually want to talk to as much girls as possible. Base Zeus is one of those NPC's influencers who openly admires Andrew Tate. You can't give an opinion on the top G, it's in the name, he's the top G, so... Big Daddy Lord Top G Tate is so polarizing. Can't give an opinion on the top G. He's already the top G, so there's no opinion to be had. But every time I ask girls for their opinion, they get mad at me for not saying anything. <laughs> Thanks to the top G for making content for us to react to. So I'd say go follow him, which you should, but he's everywhere, so you can't even get rid of him. So go follow the top G. Thank you, Top G, for the content. We appreciate it. Thank you for everything you do, Top G. We get it. Andrew Tate inspired him because of his transformation from being a dork to having influence. Benjamin Seda was a complete dork in high school and managed to have a semblance of validation with his dating channel. But he is publicly pedestalizing a man, whoop psyopsed, an entire generation of men into thinking he is the savior. All of that is extremely dishonest and Benjamin Seda supported Tate only because Tate was famous and only because Tate brainwashed him. The IG grid also was a psyops. Benjamin told how essential it was to have a perfect IG grid and how to attract high quality women through Instagram while posting zero receipts. I have his receipt. I can show you what he was getting through Instagram. It's not glorious. Meanwhile, thanks to Cold Approach, I am getting the highest quality of girls without any post on my Instagram. I don't have any grid. I don't even have a profile picture. And I actually have a lot of receipts to back up my claims. So all those years, Benjamin Seda misled you into thinking that having a super strong Instagram was essential. Benjamin also is taking dating advice from women. You can see him doing street interview of women, asking them all sorts of stuff. I know it's to get views, but it's a waste of time. He made a video with a woman dating coach, having her reviewing his game. There is nothing more bitter than that. Avid fan of chocolate chip cookies and high quality fragrances. Well, I just saw him eat a chocolate chip cookie and... You don't want to take any dating advice from women because they have biases, you know, it's normal. We are not the same. It is important to keep women away from your personal development, especially from... The dating side. Last but not least, his text game completely sucks. I saw you on my explore page. I think Instagram wants us to be friends. POV, our first date. He always teach his viewers to send tryhards and witty text messages. So this means we're dating now, right? This is one of my favorite opening lines because it sets the romantic frame correct right from the start. He says to be normal during the approach thanks to me, but if only he kept learning from me, he would have known that during the texting phase, you also need to be normal. So that way you are congruent with the approach. You are not someone new. So when are you free for our first date? The list of misleading advice that Base Zeus gave over the seven last years goes on and on. Benjamin Seda is an amateur full of layers who ended up running one of the biggest dating channel on YouTube by stealing other people's contents, clickbaiting, and bandwagoning. But the truth is, there is absolutely no substance to his teachings. He is another fraud, pretending to be master with women while having no legit receipt to show. If he truly was a master with women, if he truly was helping men, he would have kept growing. Believe me, if you look at the impact he had over the last seven years, I can tell you that he did way more harm than good. He misled up to plus 1 million men, adding layers on top of their personalities and making it even more complex to come back to their true self. Mikal has a question. Go ahead. Yo, bro, what's up? Um, yeah, dude, so I've been in the game for a long time now. And uh, I feel like the results that I've been getting have been good. But they're not great. 
and uh like i've never had a guy like you who's on the next level obviously so i was wondering like because it's always nice to have something to compare to like do you maybe have like a like a portfolio where you show the different girls that you're dating or something along along those lines like strictly speaking results wise not theoretically but like results what exactly are you asking no because like i, I want to see the girls that i'm dating how they compare to the girls you're dating we're not really interested in doing a pissing contest of who gets who gets what caliber of girls just because number one this is a program about developing the skills the level of taste that one guy is going to have is not yeah. the same as the other guy. The truth is, at the end of the day, you have to be, you have to be happy and consistent with the type of girls that you have. Because at the end of the day, you are dating her, not me. What well, would beauty is beauty is objective or subjective? What what's your opinion? I don't have an opinion on that. Ooh, okay, so there's not going to be a portfolio or anything like because I mean, look, I, I understand like you know a lot of people talk about game, but. I like to also see the the actual results they're getting, just to back it up. Sure. Yeah. No, that's totally fine. If that's what you're looking for, then you can you can go and find that. In that, we have lots of receipts for the clients that we've worked for in the past, which is why we're able to get guys the results we have, and that's all that we're focused on. Again, just out of a privacy and uh, an ethical thing, we don't like show those sorts of things. So you don't post the what is it receipts. You get you guys just like keep it uh, keep it private in the group. Well, no. If you post photos of girls' faces and whatnot, and the that that's against the rules, and that's not something that we allow. Oh, uh, I see. And uh, also another question. I know you were doing a lot of like Instagram, Tinder stuff for the last few years, and then uh, suddenly you went. Seems like you went full cold approach, and I see this is a trend with a lot of people now. What made you go from uh, from because you had an online game course, right? And then uh, you switched to cold approach. Just wondering what made you what made you go in this direction? Because I know online dating I mean online dating is oversaturated, right? So but I'm wondering why why you decided to go cold approach. Do you have a specific, you have a specific question on development? Because the truth is this is not trivia for me and I'm everyone here is to have questions related to development. Well what what do you think is better for uh, for development of like character of a guy, cold approach or online? There's no one size fits all prescription. Do you have a question on development? No, next guy.